WCVH proudly presents CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. Now over to Lexi with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, Always try to maintain complete tolerance and always make an effort to give people more than they expect by Scott Hamilton. Today's lunch is cheeseburger with no hot combo. Tomorrow's lunch is walking taco and the hot combo is grilled chicken sandwich. Now over to your weather report. It could be a day for a sweater or wind stronger than leather. For all your daily news, here's Matt with the weather. <laughs> the door's locked. <laughs> he can't do anything about it. <laughs> okay, so for a high of today, it's going to be 44. No, that's not 44. It's a high of 60 degrees today with a low of 39. Uh, as you can see, it's really sunny out here today. Uh, minimal clouds, but it's going to be sunny all day. It's always sunny in Lancaster County. But uh, yeah, currently it's 39 degrees. And it should be warm enough throughout the rest of the day. Now to headline news. Take my show. Can't do that. My show. Fourteen days after a shooting rampage claimed 17 lives, students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School returned to the scene of the crime. Nervous and anxious about going back to school, going back to classes, yet at the same time feeling kind of glad that we're going to all be together. It's like the first step to moving on from the tragedy that happened. Florida Governor Rick Scott announced plans to spend $500 million towards school safety. We've got to invest in metal detectors. We've got to invest in bulletproof glass. We've got to invest in steel doors. Florida lawmakers failed to pass a ban on assault-style rifles on Monday, but another gun-related bill moved forward Tuesday. The bill would forbid gun sales to people under 21 years old but an amendment to ban the sale of bump stocks failed. We've got to do everything we can to make sure that somebody that wants to harm any one of our students can never do it again. Congress is also working toward gun legislation. Democrats and Republicans owe it to these students to act and act in a real and significant way. Meanwhile, a new era begins for students at Stoneman Douglas. I think it's really important that we're all together to kind of start the healing process and rebuilding our memories within the halls of the school. I'm Sophia Steed, reporting. Full learn educa education scholarship is now available in the guidance office. This scholarship is eligible for a student who is accepted into a four-year accredited college and achieves a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or better during high school. This student also has had to demonstrate school or community services involving promotion of multiculturalism during the first three years of high school. This scholarship deadline is March 31st. Now we're to controversial conversations. Oh my god. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> This week on Controversial Conversations with Anna and Sophia, we've got a tricky little question for you. If you could know your entire future right now, but not be able to change anything, would you choose to know? Let's see what CV has to say. <laughs> if you could choose to know the rest of your future, would you want to know it? Uh, probably not. Why not? Because like, then if you want to change it, you would ch you'd try to change it, but sometimes you couldn't. It would also be if you like die or something bad happens, you would live in constant fear. Oh. You would live in constant fear of that. I'd spend like my last minute probably panicking. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you could choose to know your entire future but not be able to change it, would you want to know? No. Why not? Because it would change your whole life. It could change your future. Like affect what would happen in the future. So your future, your future is set in stone. Like, your future is your future. What'd you choose to know? No. Because I don't want to know my future. I want it to be a surprise. I was very confused by my own question. <laughs> if you could choose to know your whole future, what'd you want to know? Um, no. Why not? Because it would be kind of scary thinking like, well, including death, right? Oh, yeah, that would be kind of scary to know my entire future like that. And I'd rather live life 
like one day at a time, enjoying each moment in the present. Wow, okay, thank you. Hey, Mr. Larkin. <laughs> if you could choose to know your whole future, would you choose to know? Uh, I would not. It would, uh, if you knew what the, was coming, then it would probably change a great deal of what you're doing right now. And the important thing is to focus on what you're doing right now. For example, I'm grading my papers right now. It's so. <laughs> It's Sophia Steed's test. Oof. Oof. After reviewing the polls and numerous live interviews, we've come to the conclusion that most of you don't want to know what your future is, and we have to agree because that would be kind of scary and really weird. Yeah, definitely would. If you have any suggestions for uh, future segments, please add us on Twitter at CV Controversy. See you later, CV. <laughs> Why are we a gimmick today? <laughs> Attention students, Student Council wants to remind you that the annual talent show, CV's Got Talent, takes place on Saturday, March 3rd. Tickets are on sale at lunches from now till Friday, March 2nd, for students only. Price for pre-order tickets is $3 per person, and a student ticket will reserve a seat for you in the front of the auditorium. All tickets sold at the door the night of the talent show will be $5, so buy your tickets now. All proceeds will be donated to the NHS Minithon. Attention students who took manufacturing or engineering technology education courses during the first or second working periods. The Sci Tech Department is hosting a field trip in NCNH Industries in New Holland on March 15th. This company designs engineers and fabricate transportation, construction, and agricultural machinery. If you are interested in the trip, currently in ac good academic standing or scored an A or B in your tech ed courses the first semester, see Mr. Care or Mr. Masano for additional information on the trip. There are only 50 slots available for this trip, so don't hesitate. The 2018 PMS Annual Julie Sullivan Memorial Scholarship is now available in the guidance office. The purpose of the scholarship is to recognize outstanding students who have been successful in their educational pursuits while overcoming physical challenges with the help of home medical equipment and supplies. The scholarship deadline is March 23rd. The Katherine Oster Scholarship is now available in the guidance office. To be eligible for the scholarship, you must be accepted for administration a mission in a full accredited college, university, or vocational school located anywhere in the United States. The scholarship deadline is April 15th. Students, Dutch Wonderland is now hiring for their upcoming summer season. Dickies on Lincoln Highway is also hiring. Please stop in to complete an application. Now over to CV Sports. playing volleyball this spring. Open gym tonight has changed to 5 to 7 p.m. The final open gym is Friday. It's still open to 6 to 8. If you're interested in playing girls across this spring, there will be an informational meeting for players and parents tonight at 6 p.m. in room 173. Paperwork and the 2018 season guidelines will be discussed. Hope to see you there. <coughs> you feeling better, Jake? Yeah, actually, yeah. I came yeah. out with something really bad yesterday. I know. I had a flu yesterday, too. Really? Yeah. You, too? Yeah. I think, oh, I think all around. my friends did, too. Do you have friends? <clears throat> Come out and support the box. <laughs> now we're sports pilots. And he'd have missed eight straight shots. The 76ers have run off seven straight points. Oh, my! Covington! Ferocious slam for his first score. The game we anticipated. Ben Simmons, look out below. Winslow went for the steal. Simmons punished the heat. Yeah. Wade from downtown. Kaboom! A seven-point quarter for Dwayne Wade. In traffic, turnover. Another Richardson steal. Jay Rich down the middle, back to Wade. Yes! It drops! We're tied at 87. Timeout Sixers. Your feet here in Miami. Embiid gets by Whiteside. 
finishes. 23 points for Embiid. Timeout for Miami. Tough a chance at an offensive rebound. They'll call timeout. Wade against Simmons. Seven seconds left. Forces one up and scores. It was a tough shot. It was a great shot. 102, 101. 5.9 to play. Euphoria in the Heat's house. That's all the announcements we, that we have for you today. On behalf of WCBH, I'm Austin. Alongside Brooke, and this is CV Today. Have a wonderful I'm early dismissal Wednesday. Thief, being a lover, being a cheat, all my sins need holy water. Feel it washing over me. A little one, I don't want to admit to something. If all it's going to cause is pain. Truth in my lies right now are falling like the rain, so let the river run. He's coming home with his neck scratch to catch black.